Hi, I'm Axel, the data engineer whaler here at Holwell. And today, I'll walk you through setting up A-B tests using Google Optimize. Google Optimize is a free website optimization tool that can help your nonprofit increase conversion rates on the actions that matter most to you. We've already gone over A-B testing strategy in this video over here. Now, we'll be getting down to brass tacks. I'll be showing you how to set up different targeting options in order to A-B test a donation page, including how to create an experience, add a variant, update the page through the variance editor, set audience targeting based on device, location, users who have seen certain Google ad campaigns, ad groups, keywords, or UTM parameters, and read experiment results during and after the test to select a winner. Let's start by creating a new experience. Remember to give it a name that will make it easy to remember and find. We also need to add the URL path of the page where we will be running the test. In this case, it will be for our support form. The type of experience helps Optimize to provide us with the options related to our needs. For example, personalization is meant to apply changes that will be long-lasting for a specific target audience. Usually, after we have A-B tested. We will select the A-B test experience since we want to evaluate a hypothesis. Once the experience is created, we can see we are provided with a draft and settings options to create our test. We will start by adding a variant. A variant will be a version of that page where we will be adding our changes and updates if we have more than one hypothesis to test. This also helps us compare results between different variants and the original as well. Keep in mind that in most cases, it is recommended to test one variant at a time for clearer results. Now that we have a variant, we click Edit to create the changes we are interested in testing. In this case, we believe a dropdown would do better on mobile than checkboxes. When it is about more than testing page copy, if you are not comfortable with writing the code yourself, you could make use of one of the many HTML code generators out there. Sometimes it is just about copy and paste. For example, when embedding a MailChimp form. But otherwise, we recommend contacting or tasking your developer with this part of the job. Now that we have added our changes and saved our variant, we can preview and make sure that it looks exactly as it did on the editor. Let's take a look at other settings in our experience, since they are just as important as the changes we want to test. Sometimes the page is not only in one place. Sometimes we have the same type of page in multiple places, like staff profiles, for example. In that case, page targeting helps us make sure that the change can be made to all relevant places in our site. We can filter by the URL, the host, path, and even by a fragment of the URL. This allows us to check for a condition on the value we want to check for. Audience targeting. This is what I believe to be one of the most important tools that Optimize offers. We can use audience targeting to limit to under what conditions we want our variant to appear. In our case, our variant is meant to check for mobile traffic, so we add a rule where device category equals mobile, which will mean that the test will only be seen by people accessing this page on their mobile phones. Another targeting option that is very handy is geography. Sometimes an organization will like to test the reach of a change in a campaign targeted to a specific population. Geography allows us to limit our test within the confines of a city, region, metro area, and even a country. In our case, we do not need to limit this. But it is worth giving a few honorary mentions to other filters before we continue. Google Ads. If we are using Google Advertising, either paid or from a grant, we can control our test to target traffic coming from campaign a specific ad group or keyword. UTM parameters. 
UTM parameters will help us narrow traffic that comes from links where we had set UTM parameters that fulfill the condition in our rule. This is particularly helpful if we have special email campaigns that lead to a donation page and we notice any drop-offs on follow-through. Then we can test how we can improve the form for those future donors coming from email. Measurement and objectives. It is recommended to link your Google Analytics account and related view to take the utmost advantage of the metrics that Google Optimize provide. This will also allow us to select experiment objectives which are meant to help measure the success of our test by quantifying each interaction. If we have a goal in our analytics that is already related to our test's functionality, like form submissions, we could use that here. Or we could decide to create an event for our test under the Create Custom option. Test, Test and Launch Use preview options to make sure the variant renders correctly on different devices. You can also share the variant view for review and approval before launching by generating a custom link with the Share Preview option. At last, before we set our test live, we have to make sure that our experiences settings are properly configured. Things like making sure Optimize is properly installed on site, or if we want an email notification for the test, or narrowing the number of visitors for the experience, it is recommended to keep it at 100% for better accuracy on traffic interaction for the experience. And activation event, that is to say, where do we want to have this change happen on the page, most commonly set to page load. But there is also the option of setting it under a custom event that would commonly need some programming know-how. Now that our experience is ready and that we know we want to show our variant 50% of the time, we are ready to start our test. Monitoring and declaring a winner. We can see the results under the reporting tab of our experience. This can be done during and after the test is done. There, Optimize will show us a winner or if there is no clear result. If we had just started our test or our site traffic is commonly low, we will most likely see a waiting for data message there. Otherwise, the most common message seen is keep your experiment running as Optimize gathers data. The improvement between the variations is measured by the objectives we set up when we create our test. In this case, we had selected a goal from Google Analytics, and as we can see, the variant had accumulated 55 conversions versus 33 that have been acquired by the original site during the same time period. Optimize provides us with two key percentages. Probability to be best which is the percentage in which our test variant is most likely to outperform our original version and probability to beat original, which is how probable will our variant outperform our original version. 66% is good, but for a certain result. Optimize recommends that the variant percentage should be at or above 95%. In the murky cases where we see no clear leader, we can also view the Google Analytics report of our experiment, as they are called in Google Analytics. There, we can compare conversions and outcome rate for each variant based on the sessions each one gathered from beginning to end to estimate our chances at how valuable would be to implement a variant or if we should test a new hypothesis instead. Yet, when possible, the clearest way to declare a winner is looking at the variant with highest percentile probability, probability to be best, and if it's likely to be the original percentage, is higher than 95%. A few things to keep in mind to run a successful test. Check that the experiment has traffic every day. And run the test for a minimum of two weeks. As mentioned by Google, two weeks generally represent a good time interval to obtain a complete picture of the data, including those related to week weekdays, weekends, and any other anomaly that could happen from week to week. That's it. You're ready for your first test. 
That was a lot. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Once you get past the coding stuff, or have your developer do it for you, Google Optimize is an awesome tool that can help your nonprofit's website make the impact you're striving for. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments below or tweet us at @holwell. And don't forget to visit our learning platform, Holwell University, for more in-depth courses on digital marketing and strategy. Thanks for watching. Until next time.